All right, guys. What's going on? Boo Blending. It's getting cold out here. It's starting to get that time of year, yo. I hate it. I hate it. That's about the only time of year I wish I was in Florida. Um, yeah, people are dying. The only time I think about dying myself is when I hear some news about somebody, uh, usually from my hometown or somewhere in Norwalk or Bridgeport or Waterbury, any of the towns I ever lived in. Whenever I hear that somebody died and they're either my age or younger, it really makes me think about dying. But like recently, somebody from my hometown of Norwalk, Connecticut, um, died of some type of cancer, which is usually the case nowadays when people under 50 are dying. Um, and I don't even think this dude was 50 yet. I want to say he was maybe 48, 49. Um, I wasn't that close to him, but I knew of him, you know, growing up in that town. And it does make me pause for a minute and think about, I don't think about dying myself as much as I think about legacy. I just don't want to die without a legacy to pass on in my name. Um, not necessarily pass on my last name, but pass on my legacy of what I try to build for my family. So they could actually be sit back after I'm gone, long after I'm gone, and be proud of what I built. And honestly, without furthering your education, I don't see any way to pull that off without starting a business. I, I just don't see it. Um, it's my landlady here today. Um, she likes to talk about politics. Um, like most people in West Hartford that actually have a little bit of money. She's Republican. Not that that has anything to do with what I'm talking about, but she just happens to be parked next to me here. They're doing some work on the pipes. Um, but honestly, that's the only reason why I have this drive in me to continue to put out content, continue to focus on building companies or businesses, trying to get some money in the accounts. When I realized that Uber and Lyft, I can actually, well, I've been known about it, but when I actually did it, I was like, oh, okay, and figured out, okay, Banks like to see daily deposits. And the one good thing I like about gig economy is I can deposit after every day of earnings directly into my Navy Federal accounts. This looks good. It makes Navy Federal want to give me more credit or, you know, possibly loans in the future. You guys got to constantly have the mindset of building, building, building my business, working on my business, you know, and if you don't have at least one operating or holding company established, you need to get on it. What are you waiting for? You need to get on this. The faster you set up this situation, um, the better. For tax reasons, I mean, I wouldn't set up, if you haven't set up an LLC at all or a, a corporation at all, I wouldn't necessarily do it at the end of the year. I wouldn't do it now. I would wait fresh to January, start when the new year begins. Because um, truth be told, you should have already had started something. The people that have been watching me especially, you should have already had started a holding company, really. But I'll excuse the new people to come across my videos that are brand new. Wait now, because you don't want to start in December, you know what I mean? Just start fresh in January. You have the whole tax year before you have to worry about uh, taxes and any of that stuff. But the 
second part of what you need to do is get a good team. And I'm currently working on that because it is not as easy as it sounds to get a good team. I mean, CPAs, lawyers, it's necessary. Um, a assistant that actually wants to learn. I'm working on the team because I realize that I'm not going to build a six-figure business without a team. It's just not going to happen. But start fresh with your entity. Start working on building a team. And the grants are out there, guys. The grants and the money is out there. There's another SBA program by way of a bank that I think all you need is a 725 credit score. And they don't need any docs. And they will actually give you $25,000 to fund your business to get going. Listen to what I'm saying. They're actually going to give you, it's like the easiest SBA program though. Usually SBA likes to hold you up with paperwork. No docs, nothing. They're basically going off your Sperian score. So you need a Sperian 725. I don't know why 725 and they'll give you $25,000 to put right into your new business bank account to fund your operations. Now, if you're smart, you'll do a service business. You could use Uber and Lyft again, start a rental business or a transportation business where you employ the drivers directly or just rent your vehicles to them you could take half that money and buy your first vehicle. Or you could take half that money and buy a cargo van and start your transportation company. And have half still in the bank for operating costs. Got to think, it's good to have at least one service business to put money in your accounts daily. Like, I love the fact that Uber and Lyft, they don't, I don't make a lot of money doing Uber and Lyft. I'm going to keep it real. I make about $100 a day. Big whoop. But I can deposit that daily. Banks love daily deposits. And then I'm doing some other stuff where I get paid through PayPal. That gets that daily. This helps. This looks good going in your account. You know, it's been a tip for the day. Yes, people are dying, but you still need a business. You know, you can't be sitting here focused on dying. You need to focus on building your business. I'm going to be 52. I'm going to be 52 next month, December 27th. I will be 52. And I'm not focused on dying. I'm focused on building a legacy for my family. I hope you are too. Subscribe like comment check the links below um and if you're gonna do a strategy session you got to give me your time zone i'm eastern standard time you know and uh, information to get a uh, strategy session is listed below thank you guys and i'm gonna catch you in the next one